Have you ever imagined that, deep in the untouched jungles of a remote island, there once lived a species of tiny humans, only about three feet tall, who could craft tools, hunt dwarf elephants, and survive the harsh ice age? That's the incredible story of Homo floresiensis, nicknamed the Hobbits of Indonesia. Around 100,000 to 50,000 years ago, on the island of Flores, these small people thrived in a wild landscape alongside Komodo dragons, dwarf elephants, and other bizarre creatures. They weren't modern humans or our direct ancestors, but a completely separate branch of human evolution. Their discovery shocked the scientific world and made us rethink what truly makes us human. Picture yourself standing in Liangbua Cave, where archaeologists unearthed the first hobbit skeleton in 2003. That skeleton was just three feet tall, with a skull the size of a grapefruit and a brain one-third the size of a modern human's. Yet, they were far from unintelligent. Evidence shows they made sophisticated stone tools, hunted dwarf elephants, and even used fire to cook and stay warm during the freezing nights of the Ice Age. What made the hobbits so unique? It was their isolated island environment, where limited resources forced every creature to adapt. Big elephants shrank, small rats grew huge, and humans became smaller to conserve energy and survive tough times. This is a vivid example of the island rule in evolutionary biology. When environments change, life adapts in unexpected ways. But the hobbits weren't just small. They developed a communal lifestyle, working together to hunt and share food. They crafted tools from basalt stone, using them to butcher dwarf elephants, extract bone marrow, and make the most of every scarce resource. In Liangbua Cave, scientists found traces of fire, suggesting the hobbits knew how to control and use it, a major leap in human history. The hobbits' existence raises big questions about intelligence. Does a smaller brain mean less intelligence? The hobbits prove otherwise. They were creative, adaptable, and survived for tens of thousands of years in a challenging environment. They show that intelligence isn't just about brain size, but about adaptability, creativity, and cooperation. So, what happened to the hobbits? Around 50,000 years ago, they vanished from Flores. Some theories suggest the arrival of modern humans, Homo sapiens, created fierce competition for food and territory, or brought diseases the hobbits couldn't survive. Climate change, or the extinction of dwarf elephants, their main food source, may have also played a role. Though extinct, the hobbits live on in the legends of Flores' native people. They tell stories of Ibu Gogo, small, hairy creatures who spoke human languages, hinting at another human species that once coexisted with us. These tales highlight the incredible diversity and wonder of human evolution. The Hobbit story isn't just an archaeological mystery. It's a reminder that life always finds a way to adapt, overcome challenges, and evolve in surprising directions. They're proof of the power of community, collective intelligence, and the fierce drive to survive. What if one day we discover new branches of humanity, other hobbits, still hiding somewhere on Earth? Let's keep exploring the mysteries of human history to learn more about ourselves, the tiny yet extraordinary creatures in this vast universe.